as a Jewish kid uh, growing up in Tehran, I went to uh, uh, a Jewish school. We would go every Monday and Thursday to synagogue. Uh, we would sing songs and um, they would open the Torah and uh, we would read from our siddur a little bit. My dad also, he, uh, since we observed all the Jewish holidays at home, we'd get into all the stories and especially at Passover, he would uh, very passionately tell us about the story of the Passover and how we got um, saved from Egypt. And he would always emphasize that it was God's hand that brought us out of Egypt. In 1977, I moved to New York to um, continue my studies. Um, and uh, a year later, the revolution happened in Iran and pretty much upset all of our um, lives. Things started to sort of fall apart. The country that I was raised in and um, so much loved um, was going through so much um, uh, changes. Some of my friendships fell apart. Everything was very challenging to me. I started to really look at um, what's the meaning of life understand life, understand myself, what's going on with me, how can I be a more positive person, how can I make a difference. And I ran into somebody who introduced me to um, a landmark forum. They call it um, empowerment classes. They had so many classes, so many seminars. And I can tell you, I continued for about 19, 20 years. There came a time when um, both my parents uh, fell ill, especially my mom, which I never expected. She was 57 and she was diagnosed with cancer. It seemed like all of the things that I had learned so far, um, all the seminars and self-empowerment classes that I had taken only took me uh, so far. When it came to questions about life and death, um, uh, how do I talk to my mom now? How do I, knowing that soon she's gonna be dying and she's not ready for it, how do I talk to her about that? What do I know? What do I know? Where do I know she's heading? Do I know if there's gonna be another life after death? Uh, I felt like God had made me a very capable person. I felt like I he had given me a lot of strength, but it was all working against me. I was not cap capable of um, handling it on my own. There was no way I could fix my own problems. So I started to uh, read the Torah and the Tanakh, of course. Slowly, slowly, I felt that um, God is speaking to me through the through his book and this is his book he has written this book and he's he's offered it to us to also read it and to ponder on it um and i started to see this uh theme uh continuous theme there was always a sacrifice required for for our sins um, Passover holidays, the Rosh Hashanah holidays, and, and uh, Yom Kippur, that we had to bring um, all these animal sacrifices for God, and all this blood had to be spilled uh, to cover our um, iniquities, to cover all of our shortfalls. Putting together all of the stories of the of the. Hebrew scriptures, and also all the stories that I had heard from my dad, from my grandfather, that one day there's going to be a, a Mashiach coming, it suddenly clicked for me that, yeah, of course, um, Yeshua had to come and, and die for us. S somebody had to come and made, make it right with God for us. He didn't come to create a new religion. He came to fulfill 
all of the promises that God had given us, that he would send us a savior. I needed the Mashiach and he was the Mashiach. It all just suddenly made sense after a few years of looking into it, resisting it, um, arguing about it. And, uh, and finally, I could really understand it that, um, that only the blood of someone holy like Yeshua could cover all of our sins. I remember when I was a kid, we would go to the synagogue. If I needed my prayer to be heard, I would always go to the rabbi to pray for me. Or I would write something on a piece of paper, um, hand it over to someone who was going to Jerusalem to the Wailing Wall and ask them to put that piece of paper inside the wall. We uh, don't have a direct relationship with God. We cannot have that direct relationship with God because of our iniquities. And, and um, Yeshua had to come. He had to die for us so that he would make that relationship whole again between us and God. Every day I hand over all my challenges to him and he takes, he takes them over. He takes it away from me. He takes away the anxiety and anxiousness and he replaces it with uh, his joy and his peace. And to me, that's precious. That cannot be bought with millions of dollars.